Today I've got with me a very exciting phone to unbox which I'm really excited about. Yes, it's finally here. The Vivo X Fold 3 Pro. The last year's iteration of the Vivo X Fold 2 was a very, very exciting phone and was one of my favorite phones. So this year I'm really, really looking forward for the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So to start with, what do we have over here? Obviously, this one is not an international edition. This one was imported directly from China. So this one, I got it from Trinity Electronics. So as you can see, it's the X Fold 3 Pro, which is a 16 gig version with the 512 GB storage. So let's see what's inside this box. Here we go. So over here, what we get is we are greeted with the phone, which we'll keep it on the side at the moment. So let's see what is inside the box. It's just an empty tray. Yep, you get a USB charger over here, which is a USB type C to a USB type C charger, which is nice. And you also get 120 watts of fast charger, which is amazing actually. 120 watts of fast charger. So what else have you got over here? So let's see. So yeah, as I expected, there is a leaflets which most of us don't even read and you got a warranty card and you also get a sim ejector too coming to this one this one has got so you got a nice case over here which is which has got a leather perforations and it's got a different design case as you can actually see normally you get cases which are which covers the back panel and the front panel just like the honor magic v2 they also had a similar kind of a design of the case so you can actually see they've got flap over here which actually covers the hinges it's something different in the case i really really like this case actually it's definitely not a cheap case by any means but it's definitely nicer case so let's put this aside now to the main hero of, of the show which is the phone itself so let's go ahead and open it up and there we go so so that's how the phone looks obviously because it is because it's brand new you can actually see there is not any visible creases like most phones these days when you open close open close open close then you can start seeing the crease in the middle but so far the crease is not as visible as what we see in Samsung for instance Samsung has got Samsung is terrible in this one it has got a very deep deep crease but this one yeah it doesn't has a great deal of crease yes it's there but not that much I would say and yes this is something which I really really like uh, in the foldable phones so when you fold the phone it feels like you're using any normal candy bar style phone. It doesn't feel shorter. Like say for example, in the, in the Pixel Fold or one of my favorite phones is OnePlus Open. They have got a very shorter aspect ratio. The screen is a bit shorter, but this one just feels like a regular candy bar style phone, which I really, really like. It is not bulky at all. Some of the phones are quite thick, but this one is not that thick. Obviously, yes, the Honor Magic V2 still takes the cake for that being the slimmest phone but this one is definitely not a slouch either this one is slim and it doesn't weigh that much even though it is heavy but the weight distribution I feel it's quite nice and it's got a nice feel to the hand coming to the back yes the last ration they had a leather back but this one it's got a frosted finish but if you can actually see it's got a shimmery kind of design which looks very premium actually the white I really really like it and it's got a big massive camera bump but obviously the camera bump is not as huge as what you see in some of the the Chinese phones say for example you take the Xiaomi Xiaomi 14 Ultra you can actually see the camera you can see the camera bump over here how big it is but if you compare it with the Vivo it's there but it's not that much you can actually see the camera bump in this one is quite big this one has got it but not as pronounced as the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. This one was just a comparison for that one. And even you can actually see when you keep them side by side, that's how that's how they are. So it, I won't say it's, it's very, very thin. Yeah, it's definitely not very, very thick as what you see in the, in the Samsung Z Fold 5. And when you open it up, 
that's how slim they are you can actually see so you've got the usb type c over here and the speaker grills the bottom speaker grills over here and you've got the top speaker grills over there so having dual speakers they always are going to sound very good they got the side power button the volume rocker and yes this is something which i really really like in some of the phones the slider this this is something which I don't understand why a lot of manufacturers don't have that. It's always a welcome addition and it's got the IR blaster as well. Yeah. I always like IR blaster, it's always good to have that. And yes, coming to the cameras, it's got three, a three camera setup and it's got a telephoto camera as well. And if I'm not wrong, I think it's got a 50 megapixel of uh, ultra wide and a 50 megapixel of wide camera. And you can actually see, I don't know how we can focus or not. So this one says Vivo Zeiss Extreme Imagination. I don't know what that means, but it's got Zeiss coating in this one. So from my previous experience using vivo cameras this this camera should be good but obviously that will come later stage when i actually test that phone but to start with i actually just wanted to show you the unboxing of it how it looks like and what you get along with the box which is something again this is something which i always like in the chinese phones you get much more value for your money you not only get your phone you also get your fast chargers and you also get a case. Yes, some people might argue saying, that, oh, case, it's not a big deal. You can actually get a case in Amazon or eBay for 10 or 20 quid. Yes, agreed. But having a case along with the package, which is always beneficial. And this one, if I put this with the case, it's simple to put on. And yeah, that's how it looks. I really, really like the case. It actually gives a kind of a premium look to the phone. Yeah, and it also doesn't does not add much bulk to the phone so that is the unboxing of the phone what i will do is i will quickly set up the phone and give you my first impression so watch out for that one if you like my video please do like comment and subscribe it means a lot to me and until next time take care and stay safe thank you